My name is Nicole Cant and I am a coach and I coach American expat women living in London. Happy Friday and welcome to this edition of Expats Friday. Today the theme is mindset but in particular adopting a learning mindset um, versus a failure or a non-growth mindset as coined by Dr. Carol S. Dweck in her awesome book The Growth Mindset. It has a long title but Dr. Carol S. Dweck and growth mindset and you'll find her seminal amazing book anyhow what i really want to talk to you about today is why you should adopt a more of a learning attitude um, and how that will help you with your travels especially if you are an american expat and um, moving to london um, anytime soon so i'm just going to start with a quick story of, of me really um i've done a lot of startups um and during those times um i have really felt the weight of inverted commas failure um, and feeling like I was hopeless um, and not doing really well um, and just thinking well I'm never gonna find the right business for me I used to dwell in that pit of negativity and take it really to heart and spend days weeks uh, just being sorry for myself um, and wondering you know all those things that you wonder when you're not feeling great but here's the thing, I realised that wasn't working out for me. Um, and as you know, I like to motivate and chili. So I was like, Akira, you need to give yourself a time out. And guess what I did? Give myself a time out. And I decided that I needed to be a different way. Um, and that different way was really adopting a growth mindset or more of a positive um, and transient attitude to failure. And what I mean by this is, here's an example. Do you think when something goes wrong, that is the worst thing in the world? Oh my gosh, it looks so, so stupid. Oh my gosh, I can't live this down. Oh my gosh, everyone will just remember me for this one bad thing that's, that's happened. Or do you think, oh boy, did I learn a lot from that? That did not go well. Or, yeah, you know what, that really didn't go well. And now I really, really know that I should not do it that way. Um, and finally, Gosh, that didn't go well. But guess what? I learned so much. And now I just want to do that again. Sorted. Yeah, exactly. Now you might say this is the Pollyanna approach to life. And yes, it is. Because as you know, I am a motivator and cheerleader. And I would urge you to adopt a Pollyanna, Polly, <laughs> Pollyanna attitude to life. Um, but it's not about being Pollyanna all the time. It's really about being resilient. Um, and knowing that the things that happen that are bad happen. Um, and we move on. We don't dwell in that pit, pit of negativity, negativity because if we do, uh, unfortunately, we leave, it leads to bad things, you know, depression and anxiety. Uh, I'm not saying don't feel these things. Obviously, feel these things, but move on quickly, folks, okay? Have your pity party and then move on, right? Okay, I want to leave you the wise words I always leave you with. Um, you're wonderful, you're marvelous, you're fantastic. Have a great weekend, and but of course, back yourself and be your number one cheerleader. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.